So let's look at the following example that deals with electric potential energy. So let's begin. Two oppositely charged plates are placed in parallel with one another as shown. Now the distance between our two plates is given by D and that's equal to 15 centimeters. Now we assume that the entire length of the plate given by L is much greater than the distance between them. So L is much greater than D. That basically allows us to assume that the electric field is uniform. It's constant in the middle of our two plates. Now, this is our positively charged plate and this is our negatively charged plate as shown by the positive and negative signs. So if we place a positive point charge at the positive plate as shown, calculate in part A the maximum electric potential energy and in part B the velocity of the charge right before it hits the other plates. So, we assume that this is our electric field. Now the electric field lines will begin on our positive plate and will end on the negative plate as shown by the following green vector. Now because our charge is a positive charge, it will begin moving from this position directly downward along our electric field vector. So it will travel from this position, let's call that position A, to this position, let's call that position B. Now the quantity of charge of our electric point charge is given by this value positive 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs and the mass of this electric charge is 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. So this is essentially a proton. Now let's begin with part A. So we want to determine the maximum electric potential energy. Where exactly is the maximum potential energy located? Well our object, the electric charge, has a maximum electric potential energy right before it begins to move. So when it's found at this position. So that basically means right before it hits this negatively charged plate, it has a minimum uh, electric potential energy. And let's suppose the potential energy at that point is zero. That means that the maximum electric potential energy of our charge is equal to the product Q, E, and D, where D is our distance between our two plates given in meters. Now, our Q is this quantity, our E is this quantity, and our D is 15 centimeters divided by 100, and that gives us 0.15 meters. So we multiply and we get 2.4 times 10 to the negative 17 joules is the maximum electric potential energy of our point charge. Let's move on to part B. We want to find the velocity of our charge right before it hits this negatively charged plate. So as our charge is traveling from the positive to the negative plate, its electric potential energy is being transformed into kinetic energy. And right before it hits this plate, all of that electric potential energy has been transformed into kinetic energy. So that means we equate U max to our kinetic energy equation, one half mv squared. So, we take this and we solve for our V. The velocity is equal to the square root of 2 multiplied by U max divided by the mass. So we found what the U max was at our section A at part A. So we plug that in for our U max and we divide by the mass which was given here. And we get a velocity of about 1.7 times 10 to the 5 meters per second. So right before our electric charge hits the negatively charged plate, all that electric potential energy has been transformed into kinetic energy and its velocity is given by 1.7 times 10 to the 5 meters per second.